Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, this video uh, to get Shabir Ali busted as usual. You know, uh, Muslims, they say things and Shabir Ali is nothing but, I, I'm not insulting Shabir Ali, I hope he will listen to this video. I'm not insulting Shabir, but I, I accuse you to be a copy-paste person. Someone he claimed to be a scholar and his beard is long, he should not copy something from a website and take it blindly. Let us hear first what Shabir Ali is saying about the miracle of number 19 in the Quran. And then we will laugh together. We don't reject the book. And we don't reject the obvious findings which are connected with, with the book. And what are some of the, some of the examples? Well, we find that uh, the Quran actually draws our attention to, to 19. In a verse of the Quran, in the 74th chapter, the 30th verse, uh, the Quran says, Alayha tis'ata ashar, over it are 19. And uh, within the context, what it means is that there are 19 angels guarding hell. So, so it's not so much about the number 19 itself uh, as a phenomenon in the Quran. It's just but talking it's about 19 angels mm -hmm. guarding hell. Uh, but uh, Rashad Khalifa took that to be 19 like as a pattern in the Quran. But uh, it, So we were not saying this means that there is a 19 pattern in the Quran. It means there are 19 angels guarding hell. But at the same time, it led somebody to think that there is a possibility of 19 being a mathematical system embedded in the Quran. And indeed, we are finding that, that 19 pops up in some very key places which draw our attention to uh, the, the creator's involvement with the text. So I know you know more. So what are some of the other examples? So right here, on? where it says over at our 19, that's in the 30th verse. The very next verse, the 31st verse of that 74th surah, explains in detail why God made 19 angels to guard hell. And it says that this is in order to uh, strengthen the faith of the believers and uh, even to give certainty to the people of the book who might be looking at the Quran. And uh, at the same time, this same phenomenon will cause people who want to doubt to say, well, you know, what does God mean by all of this, uh, to deride the information. Now, this verse, which goes into such great detail explaining the, the wisdom behind the 19 angels, actually comprises 57 words, which is 19 times 3. All right. Let us show you that Shabir Ali is a person who claimed to be a scholar, and he is copying someone. His name is, I think, Muhammad Al-Kahil. And he is, this guy is just a kid trying to, to make uh, something of himself. I advise always Muslims, if somebody says something to you, it doesn't matter who you are. Go and check it out yourself. But before we go to the verse and check if there are 57 words as Shabir Ali, he said, I want to ask Shabir Ali a question. He said that the unique about this verse, that it is saying that this is will confirm or this is will will uh, will give a proofs for the believers and to the Christians and the Jews. But this is a verse was given to your prophet in his time. And how come Muhammad never nobody told him about the miracle of number 19? It's just a question. So 1400 years after Muhammad, he died. Someone from the middle of nowhere and you Muslims killed him because in order to make the number 19 formula work, he have to delete two verses from the Quran, claiming that those are added centuries after Muhammad died. However, before I go and count the words for the Quran in front of your eyes, I challenge Shabir Ali to do the following. Friendly challenge. Shabir Ali, honest to God, you will be a man and a hero. If you open your browser and record in the screen the same as I'm going to do now, and you count for me how this verse, verse number 31 in chapter 74, is 57 words. I challenge you. I want you to be the man, the hero. Otherwise, you are no scholar and you are, a, I don't know what to say. You know, you are fooling the Muslims and fooling yourself. I don't want to say you are a liar, but I want to say you are not smart. I mean, I, always I thought of you that you are smart and because you never answer a question. This is the smart thing about you. You know, you ask, you ask Shabir Ali a question, how we make hummus. He talk about everything except hummus. 
You ask him who is Allah. He talk about everything except Allah. You talk him why why the why the Prophet he said women have uh, half a brain and they have deficiency because they uh, 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 they are half witness. He speak about everything but not the question you ask him. But now as long Shabir Ali finally Shabir Ali, he said something we can use. He give us a number. He cannot play games around it. You see when he was debating uh, David Wood. He mentioned this to David Wood because David Wood, James White, and all those guys who don't speak Arabic, the Muslim can lie to them. How David Wood is going to know if this is 57 or not? You don't know. I look at the verse and I said to myself, I'm going to decide, I'm going to count in all the formulas in the world. You see here uh, in, in Arabic, uh, if the Muslims they want to count this verse in the front of us, how do you want to count it? He said 57 words. What does that mean? Are we going to take off all those, uh, the, we, we call them letters and tools, like wow is harf out of etc. So uh, we will not count those, like those, those things, we will not count them. We will not consider them. We will not consider the letter wa. We will not uh, consider wa here. We will not consider uh, uh, here, here, here. Uh, how we can do it? If we do that, either we have to count all of them as word, each one of them is a word, or we will count it without counting those things. I'm going to take them off, all of them. Let us see if there is any. Any left, any left, any left, any left, any left. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. The rest I will count, uh, you know, uh, they are words, supposedly. If, if, uh, I'm trying to find out how they, how they come with the number 57. So guys, count with me. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 46, 47, 48, 49. Or, it doesn't work, he said 57. Or we count all of them. We count all of them. You see, uh, Wama, they are separated. This is one, this is two, this is a three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven, this is eight, this is nine. This is 10, this is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 
68. How in the world they counted as words? They are 57. I don't know. I want Shabir Ali to show me. I give up. As you see, once I, I did not take the letters, I took them off because those are letters, they make words. In Arabic, we call them tools. So let us say the Muslims, they don't, don't want to count them. So either you want to count them or you don't want to count them. We, we did both. We count them all and we count them without. And still we could not get the 57. How they can get the 57, I do not know. It's a challenge to Shabir Ali to open his screen to us. Shabir Ali, I want you to make a screen and show me the number 19 in your screen. I want to see how you can do it. You and your miracle. I'm not going to mention that the Quran never, never was given the way it is. Muslims have it today. As we know, this is absolutely false. Not the way it is, not the verses, not the numbers, and even the recitation, even even there is a the recitation of Warish is different from the recitation of Hafs. So this number 19 work according to to, to who? Hafs. I showed you in a previous video that Hafs is considered as a liar. As what? As a liar. Who is the one who considers Hafs as a liar? The Muslims. Why the Muslim consider Hafs as a liar? Because he is. And that explains why Muslims they lie about miracles they have in their Quran. So this is my challenge to the Muslims. I want to show you something before we change. Guys. This is an Islamic website. This is an Islamic website from Saudi Arabia. The question is, why every scholar give the same verses, different numbers of letters or words? Look, look I, will, I will show you. I will translate in Google. Let us see if I, if I highlight the question, if we can do so. Uh, where is Google translation? Uh, let us see Google translation. I want to just show you Google translation. Hold on. I'm going to copy. and paste in the front of you so nobody will say I'm making things up the readers of the book interpret of interpretation and science of the Quran noted appearing differences of the numbers of words and letters of the surahs and this is also is not based on the work but I like to clarify this issue what he's talking about here those who read the books of interpretation, you will find that every scholar, he count the verses differently. Every scholar, he have his own number, and I will show you. Actually, this guy is showing you by his own. Sheikh Abi Aziz is saying, those who read the Quran, they notice that there is differences in the count of words in every verses and its letters. So, we, we need to explain why this is happening. So look, look what he said. As an example, the chapter of An-Nasr. We find that the ulama, which means the scholars, they disagree about the numbers of the verse. Some they say, 
it is 19 and this is what the scholar or Sheikh Ahmad Ibn Muhammad al Thalabi he said it is 19 19 words and this is what Uthman ibn Sa'id said however the Sheikh Ali ibn Muhammad al Khazin said it is 17 however Sheikh Nizamuddin al Hassan bin Muhammad al Qummi he said it is 20 19 plus 1 20 However, Sheikh Muhammad bin Yaqub al-Faroos Abadi, he said, it is 23 words. Like what? Look, look. What's happening here? We continue. They are not done yet. The fifth say, there's, this, is the, this is the fifth you know, number, which means there's many says, this is number fifth. It says that there are 16 words. This is what, it, what the Sheikh Mahmoud ibn Muhammad ibn Musa al ayani said. It is 16 words. And this is the same what he said, what, what Sheikh Umar bin Ali bin Adil al Dimashqi al Hanbali said. It is 16 words. And the sixth say, it is 22 words. Like, what the heck? And this is what Al Khatib Muhammad ibn Ahmad al Sharbini he said. It is a 22 words words okay hold on all of them they are counting the same verse in the Quran we are not talking about different book we are not talking about different story we are talking about the same verse why each one of them have different count because simply each one of them he play with it the way he want there's some he count those we call them uh, uh, you know tools like we call them the ma'ir you know if you want to count them he count them but you see in in the case i did in front of you i did that i i count in both ways and did not come with 57 but look those are scholars and they are in this agreement if it is 20 if it's 19 or it is 16 or it is 17 or it is 20 or it is 23 or it is 16 there's a huge difference between 16 and 23. Or it is 21 or 22. So I say to Shabir Ali, shame on you, Shabir Ali. Shame on you, shame on you to repeat a propaganda which is false and proving you Muslims to be bankrupt, desperate to find something in your book. What about you make a show to tell us how the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs you have a PhD how the man have a sperm coming from his backbone how the Sun and the day and the moon and the night they run in an orbit <laughs> how this can happen guys this book is the book of his scandals and the miraculous of the Quran that how human being in the today in the world today in 2017 can believe in such a book it's it is a miracle because unless people are stupid they should not believe in such a book. I can show you, and this is my challenge to Shabir Ali, who will never debate me because he knew that he is no match and he knew he will get busted immediately. I challenge him. You don't want to debate me, fine. You are scared, you are terrified, you, don't, you know, you, are, you, you, know you, will, you will debate only those who speak Arabic, fine, speak English. Or you debate somebody who do not know Islam at all. I challenge you to make a video showing us in your screen how you count the 57 words in that verse. It's a challenge. It's a challenge for every Muslim. I want to see how you do make a miracle of nothing. It's really amazing.
It is Allah who raised the sky without column that you can see, which means there's columns raising the sky, but we cannot see. And actually, the chapter he mentioned, you know, one, one of the things that based on this miracle number 19 is a chapter Qaf. Chapter Qaf. Do you know what chapter Qaf is? Let me show you. You see the miracle of chapter Qaf? He is saying that this is a miracle. What is miracle about chapter, chapter Qaf? Chapter Qaf, according to Muslims, is a mountain surrounding the earth. Sorry, surrounding the earth from every side. This mountain, it's called Qaf. Read with me. He says, Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, it is an azure mountain overlooking his, this world. And the color of this, the sky, takes from it. Shabir Ali, tell us what Qaf mean. They say to you in the miracle uh, article that the chapter 50 have 57 verses. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? It does not. It's 45. This is nothing but a scam, and you need, you know, to be a Muslim to believe in it. Because simply a Muslim, you don't, you know, the Muslim they don't question really. Any, say anything, praise Islam, say any lie you want. Muslim they agree with it and they love it. You see, Christian Prince right now, if he changes his mood and starts saying Muhammad, amazing miracle in the Quran, it doesn't matter what I am saying. The Muslim they will give me a like, they will send donation, they will invite me to make speeches in their TV. It doesn't matter how big the lie is. Just say something to promote the cult of Islam. With this, I say thank you for watching and listening. Don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends, and if you know Shabir Ali, tell him when you will debate the Christian Prince. It's a question you've been asked from long time ago. Do you dare? And whoever dare to debate me, we open our chat room every weekend, Friday and Sunday, and actually sometime even Saturday. However, we do not need to do it in a chat room. We can do it in your Islamic TV. We can do it in any form. It's very easy. Who dare? Nobody. Christ is, is Lord and Islam is nothing but a scam. And Shabir Ali is no scholar, he is imposter. Thank you.